It's wild to see all these boats out here. You get ill. Like, all right. Oh no. It's showtime. Literally. <laughs> I think he just got out of the water. See that his tail is curled wet. around. And, oh. The reason his tail is wet is because white face, white face capuchin monkeys, in order to hydrate themselves, instead of coming down to the trees and drinking the water directly, oh. they'll dip their tails within the water. <laughs> <laughs> they'll dip their tails in the water since they use their tails as a sponge. That way they can drink directly from their tails and that way they can't endanger themselves coming into the water. So far only raccoons. It's warm. I think you're supposed to look up to find the sloths, but I'm not positive what to look for really. Whew. I had to wear my long sleeve shirt because of my sunburn. I saw leaf cutters. They're cool. Yeah. yeah. During the period of exploration of the Spanish under the reign of King Philip II, this was specifically made to be able to protect the mouth of Tigers, which led into some of their most important forms of transit through the Americas. Ooh. Which one's higher, the Atlantic or the they Pacific? Huh, babe? Alrighty, guys. And no oh, worries, wow. I'll try to get you out of the sun as soon as possible. If you look at this map here, you're going to be able to notice two paths. These paths are either, either known as El Camino de Cruces or the Royal Roads. These both were the most important forms of transit for the Spanish. They had created these forms of transit to be able to bring back all of the gold, silver, pearls, herbs, and spices that they were collecting from Southern Latin America back through Panama and back to Spain. 20% of the gold they would collect would go straight to Spain and the other 60% known as... Little island, some restaurants. I'm gonna walk down the reclaimed land. The, I think it's Amador Causeway. It's beautiful. You can see the old city from here to the left. And that's all the new city. Many of those buildings have been built in the last 40 years. So, they created this specific place to lure them in. Looks kind of like a moat. If you guys want, you can come over here to get out of the sun. As you can see, this area was specifically built for the moat. Looks like it's a tissue.
somebody gives a go, their problem would be taken care of in less than five minutes. If you guys want, you can follow me. This was a very strategic way of getting rid of their enemies, especially since we're going to survive and nobody's going to do that. You're a gun hole. Gracias. Yes, and call it over here. Yay, babe, more forts. Walking to the Bio Museum. It should only be like a 20 minute walk. See a lot of scrapes and carvings up on the walls. Some of them are from today. Others are from the 1800s. During the time of the gold rush, here there was a lot of rumors saying that Fort San Lorenzo was full of gold. There was maps saying X marks the spot, you're gonna find gold in Fort San Lorenzo. So a lot of these treasure hunters at the time started coming over here, destroying everything. No, these are flowers. lost a lot of people and lost a lot of cargo. The fort. So if you guys want you can follow me up here so we can get under some shade. And also here is a spiral Oh, feel great. <laughs> trying to find cures and um, find different ways to make antibiotics. Uh, this is one of the coolest rainforests I've ever experienced and right now I'm in the frog exhibit. There he is. Oh, that's cool. 
ninguna solución. Entonces, la intención es seguir burlándose de lo jubilar mencionado y eso no lo podemos permitir. That's beautiful. bombs, mines, and a lot more. It's, there's still a lot of active mines within these rainforests, so luckily because of that, nobody's allowed to step foot within it, and now these animals are completely Oh, new, next boots and cats. Bird. Bird. is at the maximum operating level. It's the same level as the lake. It's finally happy. We're about to see a ship go through the okay. canal. Beautiful out here. Tommy's back taking a nap. It's a gorgeous day. Honestly, couldn't be nicer. A little warm. It's like 70 something. Maybe 80. I don't know if it'd be safe to have her. I don't know. We can invite some people in all night. Can we just toss them off the side? Yeah. Oh, look at how the wood. behind. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. You like that? Wow. Oh yeah, be calm. <laughs> He's looking around, making sure nobody's bags are open. <laughs> Somebody has their own airplane over there. Oh crap. What do you do about that? Tugboats. Hotel Panama. Beautiful view. I've got a daiquiri, rum daiquiri, he's got a rum old fashion. No. No. You're from Puerto Rico, and you might probably have heard about uh, Simon Bolivar.
there. Down, 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 down. Forward. <laughs> 